We all like to think we're rational beings, making decisions based on logic and reason. But the truth is, our minds are full of shortcuts, cognitive fallacies, and those can trip us up. Today, let's uncover 10 of the most common cognitive fallacies, and of course, how to overcome them. First up is the confirmation bias. This is when we only seek out information that supports what we already believe, ignoring anything that might contradict us. For example, imagine you believe a particular diet is the best. You might only follow influencers who promote that diet, ignoring evidence that suggests otherwise. Now, to overcome this fallacy of confirmation bias, seek out opposing points of views and ask yourself, oh, it proved me wrong. Challenge your own beliefs, and that's actually a superpower in itself. Next up is a gambler's fallacy. Picture someone at a casino saying, the roulette wheel has landed on black five times in a row. Red must be next. Now, to avoid this, remember that in random events, each outcome is independent. The roulette wheel doesn't have memory. It's just math. Number three, appeal to authority. This is when we believe something's true just because an expert or someone in authority said it. For example, the skincare product works because my favorite celebrity endorses it. Now, to combat this fallacy, always ask for evidence. Does the claim hold up under scrutiny? regardless of who's saying it. Number four, the bandwagon effect. Now this fallacy happens when we adopt a belief because everyone else is doing it. Remember when everyone thought fidget spinners were these amazing tools for focus? Well, in this case, the curious to pause and reflect, do I really agree with this or am I just going along with the crowd? Number five, the halo effect. This is when we let one positive impression of someone, like their friendliness or their attractiveness, influence unrelated judgments. For example, that car salesman was so nice, the car he's selling must be reliable. But to avoid this, separate the person from the product or decision. Focus on the fact and not the charm. Sixth, the availability heuristic. This is when we overestimate the likelihood of events based on how easily they come to mind. For instance, if you've recently heard about a plane crash, you might think air travel is extremely dangerous, even though it's statistically the safest way to travel. To counter this, look at actual data and remind yourself that vivid stories aren't always representative. Now, number seven, it's a sunk cost fallacy. This is when we continue investing in something because we've already put time or money into it, even when it's no longer rational. Now, think of someone holding on to a toxic relationship because they've already been together for so many years. Now, to break free, Focus on future gains, not on past losses. Ask, if I had invested in this person or this thing already, would I make this choice right now? Number eight, it's a fundamental attribution error. This happens when we attribute someone's actions to their character rather than their circumstances. You may say she's late because she's lazy, when in reality, maybe her car broke down. Now combat this by practicing empathy. Consider external factors before jumping to conclusions. Number nine, the false dichotomy also known as the either-or fallacy. This occurs when we're presented with only two choices, ignoring all the possibilities. For example, you're either with us or against us. The solution? Recognize nuance. Life isn't black or white. It's full of shades of gray. Remember that. Finally, number 10, the overconfidence effect. This is when we overestimate our own knowledge and abilities. For example, thinking you can handle a complex plumbing repair after watching one YouTube video. Maybe I've been guilty of that. <laughs> to avoid this, practice humility. Acknowledge what you don't know and seek expert help when needed. Our brains are amazing, but they're not perfect. By recognizing and addressing these cognitive fallacies, we can make better decisions and we can challenge our assumptions. Now, which of these fallacies have you caught yourself falling for? Let me know in the comments. And please like and subscribe for more. Thank you.